this video is going to be a complete tutorial on how to find basis vectors for any subspace. So we're going to have a look at what a spanning set is, what a basis is, and then how to find a basis. So all a spanning set is, is a linear combination of vectors which describe a subspace. It does not need to get any more complicated than that. And basis vectors, they have a few properties. Um, the main way to think of it is that they're the best way to describe a subspace. A basis contains enough information to exactly describe a subspace. There is no redundancy, which essentially means that when you're describing a subspace with a basis, all of the vectors that you're using are linearly independent. They're not redundant. A basis can be thought of as an efficient spanning set because it only contains linearly independent vectors which span the entire subspace. Every basis for a subspace has the same number of vectors, and this is called the dimension of S, and denoted dim S. So let's do an example. Let's say you get given a question in a test that asks you to find the basis for a solution space. First thing you want to do is to put it into augmented matrix form, and then perform Gauss-Jordan elimination to get it in the simplest form. Then you want to identify the free and the basic variables so that you can express the basic variables in terms of the free variables. This allows you to describe the solution space in terms of the free variables. So now you've found every single solution to this equation. Then you want to split the solution space in terms of adding the free variables separately. So what you do, what you do is, is that you pull, pull out all of the free variables and then you multiply it by the coefficients of the coordinates. So as you can see here, there is only one x5 in the first coordinate, so you put in one. And then there's no x5 in the second coordinate, the third, or the fourth, but there is an x5 in the last coordinate, so you put a one there. And you continue this for all of your free variables. And then you evaluate the span, and what you've done is, is you've created an efficient spanning set. So this describes the entire subspace of our set of equations. And we can also find the dimension, which is just three, because there are three basis vectors. So these are all the steps which I took in doing this question. Feel free to copy them down and practice them yourself. So the key points from understanding what basis vectors are is that they're just expressing a subspace in terms of a linear combination of the simplest set of vectors which can describe it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.